Time is something that makes me stay awake at night. It is that inability to immortalize a moment that you like to live. It is that constant fear of regretting not having spent one more minute with the people you love. Or not having read one more post or stories or um, your favorite book or not having watched another Woody Allen movie. Time is what enables you to live again those moments that make you become the person you are now. It is that thing which inevitably passes without asking how you're feeling. We are tired of seeing political battles daily. Your neighbors envy because they live a different life than you do and they think it's a worse one or um, never ending fights for problems that time run over once and that are never really coming back. We don't help each other from making this exact moment last in time nor to remember all of it as a wonderful forgotten memory whenever no one have made it to escape from its claws. And um, I think we're nothing but the scars we got when fighting against time. Maybe that's why I decided to make a living from the movies, to create stories which carry a small part of that big enemy we'll have, to print the memories of a moment that happened to never come back, to capture atmospheres that were born from the nostalgic feeling of what we were once, to try to demonstrate to your public that you are real and that they are too. Because when you make someone get emotional with the love story you created, you're both experiencing the most basic feelings we have. Empathy, love, and remembering. And maybe our generation is guilty of being distant from one each other. When you watch a footage filmed in New York City during the 80s, you can see a society, an essence, a deeper connection which is totally different to the connections you can have on Tinder. We have lost the essence of those Manhattan cafes, going to the movies, buying the newspaper and newsstand, and um, talking with that old man about the last and horrible economic management of your government. We were sitting on your desk and type right for a while on those Camelots on TV or, or Sesame Street educating a generation. We are not as kids lost in, in the O's and trying to find themselves in the 20th century that I fantasize with. And every single time I watch an old video where people talk or where a world where couples spend time together on the street is shown or where phoning was in a telephone box and was not unlimited, I wonder where it has all gone. I'm lucky to have met love like people used to in the old times. He was filming a short movie. And I am so fortunate to have experienced what real love is, away from the screens and all those poster things. A love we're loving and respecting is the most important thing. I don't even know if this is real. Yesterday I was 6 and today I'm 21. And maybe this year I'm born again in a place that will make me remember all these moments as a distant memory, as a fuzzy photo. To those people who focus on not living their own story, on being at the shadow of other people, to those who make problems in spite of being happy, I would say that life is worth living. And there are plenty of things to make me think it is worth it. Like that feeling when you've just passed your math exam or a half from your grandparents or um, listening to Chopin's walls in c -sharp minor, French movies or um, coffees in summer with the first sun rays of what is going to be a beautiful day that makes you feel you're alive. Or just spend time loving and accepting the time. In the end, um, is what makes you person you really are.